Hey everyone, in today's iPhone video, I wanna show you how to go from your old iPhone to your new iPhone and transfer all the data over. And this is everything. I'm talking about all your apps, all your contact information, all your photos, and the new process that has been around for a couple years makes it a whole lot easier. You literally have to just keep these phones next to each other wirelessly, and you don't need a computer. You don't even need iCloud, which was the method that we used for a long time. We put everything from this phone onto iCloud, and then downloaded it to the new phone. This is much, much better. So I wanted to make this quick video to show you exactly how to transfer data from one phone to another. And this works for lots of different phones. You could be going from iPhone 7 to iPhone 12, and really any combination should work with this method. Now, if your new phone is set to the home screen like it is now, I just set it up as a new phone, I have to reset the new phone to factory settings. To do that, I'm going to go to settings, under settings, scroll down to general, and on the very bottom here, there's a reset option. Press that, and we want to erase all content and settings. We need to do this step in order to take advantage of this system here. So you could either back up, then erase, but since I haven't set anything up here, I just went through the setup process, I'm gonna just press erase now, and it's going to erase the phone to factory settings. Now, if you started on the hello screen here with your new iPhone, you could skip the last step here because you're already going to be starting right here. One more thing just for safety on the old phone. Go to settings, click your name up here to go inside of iCloud, and then go to iCloud over here, and then scroll down to iCloud backup. Click this, and we wanna make sure this is turned on and that we back up now. You wanna make sure you do this. Now this is not necessary because we're not using iCloud to backup from one phone to another phone, but we do this just as a backup in case something goes wrong. So once we do that, we're gonna come back to this new phone, slide up, and I'm gonna go ahead and lock this phone and unlock it one more time because we're gonna get this setting right here. It says set up the new iPhone. So I'm gonna say unlock to continue. And I should get this prompt right here. And all I have to do is use the old phone to scan this right here on the new phone. And once I do that, it's actually going to take the information from this phone and put it over here. So I'll need to put in my passcode from this phone. And this is moving the Wi-Fi information and some other information like that. We're actually gonna take another step to moving our apps and our photos and things like that. Now you could set up your face ID here. I'll just set this up later. Now, on this page, you have two options. Transfer from your iPhone. It's gonna take everything from this iPhone, put it over here, and this says 20 to 25 minutes. So that's pretty much the standard time that it will take, depending on how much you got on your old phone, or download from iCloud. This option is good, the first one. That's what we're gonna choose. The only problem with this option is both of these have to be on the same iOS, or your new phone has to be on a newer iOS. But in almost all cases, the first one will work for you. So select that, and it will basically go through the setup process. You can put both of these down and let that take place. And you should see this screen right here, transferring data from one phone to another phone. And again, this depends on how much data you're transferring from one device to another. So it may take up to 30 minutes or longer, depending on how many photos and how many apps you have on your old device. So I'm gonna let this take place. I'll show you the next page. Okay, so it took about 30, 35 minutes in my case, and I should see something on my old phone that says transfer complete. And it says before you trade in your phone or sell it or give it away, make sure you erase all your data. Now this is the same exact thing I showed you in the very beginning of the video. So you could go back to that and then do that to your old phone, which is basically resetting all your information and erasing everything. Now on the new phone, it's going to take a little bit of time here for everything to go ahead and move over and download. So you could see all these different apps are starting to slowly download to my phone. And in a few minutes, everything should be synced up, including all my data information, all my photos, all my text messages. They should all appear over here. And you could see all the pages are slowly migrating over and all the apps are downloading. Now, if you're selling your old phone or you're giving it to someone else, remember, make sure you reset your phone to its factory default, which I showed you in the beginning of this video, because you don't want people to have access to your private information on your old phone. So make sure you totally wipe it clean. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. 
please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.